but we are watching the next weather maker coming in. Some showers in the upper Great Lakes right now. These are dropping down towards Pittsburgh. Now tomorrow's not going to be a washout in any way, shape or form, but we do have these showers that are going to be just spotty around the area. Otherwise cloudy and much cooler, but right now it's still a perfect evening outside, especially by October standards. No precipitation showing up for the time being, and we are 18 degrees warmer at this moment than the same time yesterday. So a big time warm up today, 18 degrees warmer in West Mifflin, 16 for Morgantown, 18 for New Philadelphia. So a perfect Perfect October day outside and it still looks fantastic. Look at this as the sun's going down. We have clear skies over downtown Pittsburgh. The point lit up very nicely and bottom line. We are looking at a perfect evening 63 still right now and these temperatures are just a couple above average. Typically we'd be in those lower 60s this time of year. Light winds out of the southwest at nine. Not a lot of moisture to work with here. The dew points at 46, giving us a relative humidity at 54%. So it's going to be a little bit of time before we have to worry about those showers trying to work in here. And it's going to be one of the reasons that those showers are only going to be spotty as we head into the day tomorrow. Not a lot of moisture to work with. 63 Pittsburgh, 60 Cranberry. Already some temperatures like Franklin and Butler down into the 50s, mid 50s along I-80. The warm spot 65 in Morgantown. Big view here shows a lot of warm air. 81 St. Louis, 70 Minneapolis, 75 in Louisville. This isn't going to make it. Look up towards Minneapolis. So you go from Chicago at 71 to Minneapolis at 53. This is the cool air that's going to be swinging through here as we go into the day tomorrow. So tonight as we start to drop our temperatures off, you're going to notice we don't rebound too much tomorrow. So we go from the upper 50s as we go through the night tonight and into early tomorrow, only making it back into the low 50s for highs. And again, some clouds and a few spotty showers to contend with. But again, they're way up to the north and not anything for us to worry about here in the next couple of hours. So if you have any outdoor plans, still looking good as the high pressure is holding things off for the time being. But this little clipper is going to zip through here tonight into early tomorrow, and that's going to bring some showers along with it. So Futurecast here really shows us what we're dealing with. As we go through tonight and into early tomorrow, you'll notice those clouds drop in 7 a.m. spotty showers. This isn't a widespread rain, but we're going to have just a little rain here, a little rain there into tomorrow evening. We'll start to break those clouds up a little bit, partly cloudy skies. Now, early Tuesday with the cooler temperatures and still those winds coming out of the northwest, we could see a few light lake effect rain showers north of Pittsburgh. This isn't going to be a widespread event that'll wrap up, and I think Tuesday is going to be a great looking day, albeit cool and cool is going to be the trend here in the forecast. 58 at midnight, mostly cloudy, spotty showers. This will be the high temperature for the day because tomorrow morning, 49 degrees, a few spotty showers around. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're only going to make it back into the low 50s. So a cool day overall, almost 10 degrees cooler than average for the afternoon temperature. Now, as we go into Tuesday, 51, that's it. We'll probably stay into the 40s for Wednesday. Mid 50s Thursday, that is our best chance for rain in the week ahead and your four day plus four more shows that the next 60 degree temperature won't be till next Saturday. All right, fall certainly upon us. Ray Petlin, thank you.